Okay, if you're using a game controller or maybe even a flight joystick to control your aircraft, you may not even want to bother watching this video. But if you're mainly a console guy or girl and you don't have a controller hooked up to your PC, you might find yourself a little bit lost. I know I was, and I found myself wishing I could fly just like I played games nowadays. And then I thought, why not? So I started on a journey to remap the flight control surface keystrokes from the numeric keypad on the right to the typical WASD keystrokes on the left. Now I realize this will be heresy to the older flight simulator enthusiasts like me, but you have to remember that this inherited the keystrokes from the old flight simulator uh, that was designed well before WSAD became a standard. But if you decide you want to have your left hand to do all the controls and leaving your right hand to use the mouse for views, uh, here's some suggestions. The good news is it's not complicated to remap keys. You just go over here to Options and you click on that and you get another menu and on the far right you'll see the Controls menu. So the developers have put in this entire key mapping system that makes it fairly easy to go ahead and redo your keys. Now you'll see here they have, it comes up with a sign. You can click and say Alt or just Essential Keys only. So we don't get lost. I'm going to leave it on all so we can see all the different control. And we're going to go here to the flight control services first and expand that selection. Now we're going to go down here to the primary control services and click on expand on that. And we'll see the first thing that lists here are the uh, roll left and roll right and all the different aileron controls. So we're going to click on this one because we want to change it. Now you can use a menu on the left to do it, but all you have to do really is to click here and then press the key you want. So you click it first, it turns gray, then press the key that you want to use. And as soon as it does that, it will come up with this menu. Now, this is because the key's already been assigned somewhere else, and it'll tell you where. Now, in some of these, the A key is used, like, for example, within the slew mode, so you're not going to affect that. I'm just going to go ahead and say OK. But the first thing it does, it says, hey, you need a new profile, and that's because you can modify default. So I'm going to call this WASD. Now you may notice that I've gone back to the default. Just for demo purposes, you would stay in your WSAD profile and continue to map your keys. In this particular situation, uh, after I do the primary control surfaces, I'm going to go to the secondary control surfaces. And here I'm going to remap the uh, trim left and right for the uh, rudder. And the reason I'm doing that rather than assigning rudder left and right is that they slam left and right full rudder. You don't want that. You want to be able to trim it slightly. So I'm going to press the keys that I want to use. I want to use the uh, delete key and, uh, and then go here and say validate just like we did before and we'll get the new mapping. So rather than covering every mapping I'm going to go here and here's all the ones I ended up with under my WSAD configuration. But a key difference is the S key. We're not going to use that for the opposite of the W. Instead we're going to use that to center your left and right, your A and D and I'll show you why in a minute. Instead we're going to go uh, one more row down on the keyboard and use the X key uh, for elevator up, in other words to pitch the aircraft up. We're skipping the rudder left and right, like I said earlier they snap left and right rather than just a small adjustment. Instead we're going to go down here to the rudder trim which is currently number zero and, and the number delete key. And those are pretty good but we're going to fix this uh, number delete here to, so that it's right next to the number zero instead. To complete our left hand mapping, I'm going to zoom down here to the power management and the throttle settings. And you'll notice here I've remapped them so that the E and the Q are increase and decrease throttle. So here's the mapping I came up with. Now first we're going to take a look at the banking left and right. And that's your A and D key, just like you would expect in a game. Now as far as the up and down, the descend and ascend, I've changed that so it's now really WAXD so that the X key is a climb. And that left your S key available to stop your bank left or right by centering your ailerons. Or maybe even pause this video while you go and launch Flight Simulator and use this as a guide. Or you might want to wait till the next section where I'm going to show exactly how these things work and why they're assigned like they are. Now this video is a little jerky because I'm running the flight simulator, I'm running the recording software, and I'm running the keyboard software to show it on the screen. Now I'm going to zoom in here so we can watch the aircraft services as I press the keys. Now I'm pressing the R key because this aircraft doesn't seem to have parking brakes, the T key. 
So let's look at those A and D keys that we were talking about. And if I press the D key, you see how I bank to the uh, right and A I bank to the left. However, there's a problem is that if you do that multiple times, you do a hard bank, they don't return to center. Uh, you continue to have your ailerons positioned like that and you keep spinning. You would somehow have to know how long or how many times you press the one key on the right and then press the A key on the left to go to center. So that's why we reassign the S key. The other main keys are the W and X key for up and down, the pitches you're playing up and down. And although those don't return to center, it's much easier to watch your plane go up and down and adjust appropriately by tapping either the up or down keys. So let's take a look at a live flight. So I'm going to press my Q key to increase my engine speed uh, until we get up to where we want to go. And we take off. And eventually, we all want to nose down a little bit by pressing W. Level off a little bit. Continue our climb, though. I want to bank to the right or bank to the left. But you notice I have to tap the S key. Otherwise, the aircraft continues in a roll rather than just a turn. Pressing the other direction will allow you to turn back and level out in flight. Now, you're still going to have to practice a bit to get it right to where you're in the middle of a steep bank, let's say. But for the most part, you're going to make minor adjustments, hit the S key to stop, and then uh, go on from there. Right now, I'm still trying to slow down my airspeed because I'm getting pretty hot here. Uh, and then we just continue going left and right for uh, that as well. So there you have it, my proposal for the key uh, setup for these. Uh, again, you can take a look at that image that I had in here. I'll also put the key mappings uh, in the description of this video and on my website. And maybe, just maybe, I'll learn to fly this thing with just a keyboard. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.